Hello everybody and welcome back to Rakuen, where we are going to go and see my bathroom. No, we're not. We are going to go and see, um, well first I want to quickly pop in, quickly pop in, and uh, go and see, have a quick chat to Winston. Hello again, can I help you with anything? See you later. See, I've helped Gem Gemma and Winston, but it doesn't seem to have made much of a difference to how they are in the hospital, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, let's go and see Kizaburo. Kizaburo, I think it is. I think a higher dosage would help with these recent hallucinations. You can get more rest and feel better overall. I'm not hallucinating. Kizaburo, you can't keep going outside. Why not? I'm a grown man. If I want to leave, I can leave at any time. It's not safe out there and you're destroying hospital property. I have to fix the train. It's my job. You can't keep taking my tools away from me. I'm running out of time. I have to tell her something. I have to tell her. Dr. Kenji is going to be observing you for a while. Please know we're doing all we can to help you right now. Oh, hey, kid. Seems you're the only one who listens to me these days. Everyone else thinks I've completely lost it. You need something? What's up? Not feeling so great. I've got a job to do, but no one here will let me do it. My supervisor expects me to fix the main engine. I can't do that if they keep taking away my tools. You need something? Why did you go outside? The doctors think it's too dangerous to be outside, but I have to be. I'm running out of time. I have to find it. I have to finish it. I have to send a message. You need something? Tell me. No, I've already asked him about the folks here, I think. See you later. Maybe we'll chat to the doctor as well. Sometimes when a patient's body is not well, it can affect their mind. These sorts of things are never easy. No, but I don't feel that you're really listening to him. What's on the board here? Anything? All hospital staff, instructions. Kisaburo is not allowed to have caffeinated liquids before prep. He's drinking some coffee there. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Read it, yes. Why am I, I, I? Yummy. <laughs> I need to check out the backspace behind his place because it seems the obvious thing to do and the obvious place to go. The door is still locked there. Saw that one last time. And then just to remind you guys, this journal, day 24, no one understands gathering tools for running out of time. Have to send a message, have to send a message, have to send a message before it's too late. Let's go and speak to um, Kisaburo in the lake. got a pickaxe yet. Still haven't found the right things for it. I mean, I could go. I think I now have enough stuff. Well, I don't quite have enough stuff. I don't have enough berries for the Firefly Festival thingy. Or the Starlight Festival, or whatever they call it. What brings you to the hot springs? What's up? I know it looks like I'm relaxing here, but it's more like solitary confinement. What do you mean? Well, a long time ago, I fell ill. The kind of ill that no legal doctor could cure. So I visited Morzora back when he was still awake. He told me to soak here in this hot spring to regain my health. That was a long time ago, and he's since fallen into a deep slumber. I've come to accept my fate, though. I worry for my family once I'm gone. Hmm. Can we help you? I hate asking for help, but seeing as how Morzora has commanded me to stay here, I guess I have no other choice. 
My wife Kazuko and I run a little tea shop to the west of here. Ever since I got sick, she's had to run the shop all by herself, which is no small task. Perhaps if Kazuko had a couple of extra helping hands, it might ease the burden a bit. Oh, I maybe should have spoke to her before I went into the room. I've spoken to her before though, and she talks about visiting him and stuff. You think you could visit her at our tea shop west of here and see if she needs help with anything? Yeah, totally. Of course, we'll help out however we can. Thank you so much, it really means a lot to both of us. Ah, ah, the rest of my berries, yes. Right, we have enough now, I reckon. His tea shop. Oh, she has, she has the little ears too, the little gill things. Kazuko, oh hello, welcome to the Midnight Tea Shop. How can I help you today? What's up? My husband, Kisaburo, has been ill for a long time. When Morizara was still awake, he told him to rest in the hot springs east of here in order to recover. How is this place? We serve all sorts of teas here as well as homemade food. We even sell tea in bulk. I grow all the tea myself in the plantation out back. I love gardening. Oh no. Hang on. I feel at home when I'm surrounded by plants and nature. There we are. Can we help out? You want to help? You mean like you're looking for a job? Well, not exactly. Your husband Kizuburo asked us to see if he needed anything. He actually said that to you? Wow, well I guess I could use some help with a couple of things. Business has been slower these days. I guess I'd feel a lot safer if we could get just one more big tea contract. I do have a customer in mind. His name is Monsieur Burt and he holds regular tea events that require lots of tea. I'm sure if I could bring him a sample, he'd be our customer in no time. Unfortunately, I'm the only employee so I can't really leave the store right now. If I could leave, I'd also visit our neighbour to pick up some dragon ash for this flower I'm growing here. A Hikarabana! Wow, good eye! It is indeed a Hikarabana. She's grown quite big. Sorry, quite a bit. However, I don't think she'll bloom without that dragon ash. Anyways. So you'd really like to help? Okay then. Would it be too much to ask you to go in my place? To bring Monsieur Bird a sample of our tea? And to pick up some dragon ash from our neighbour? We'd love to help. Oh, thank you so much. You'll find Monsieur Bird in the Skylands. A beanstalk west of Leeville Village should take you there. Okay. I have to find that, that beanstalk and see if it's one I've already watered or it's one I have to go and find to water. I try to water them where I can see them. You can give him a sample of tea from this gourd. A gourd of midnight tea. Our neighbour lives in the cave right outside our shop. Ah. Occasionally, the entrance to her cave gets blocked by fallen rocks, so you might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. If you ask nicely, I'm sure she'll give you some dragon ash. Her name is Stormy, and she's a great water dragon. Oh, wow. Try not to be intimidated. Uh... <laughs> Good luck, and thanks again. Wonderful. Very wonderful. Okay, so I need to find Monsieur Bird to the west of here. Now that looks awfully like a pot that one might find a beanstalk in. But I do not see any beanstalks in it. There's also another well. And if previous well experiences have been anything to go by, we can go down it. It is a different kind of well. I can't jump it. How very odd. Oh no, I can. I was just not pressing the key hard enough. There we are. Found 10 gold. Very nice. Let's see if these guys will speak to me. 
Or not. They will run away. They always run away. I need an invisibility push on. It looks like there's a doorway down there if I have a pickaxe. Quite a few places that I need to revisit with a pickaxe. And I always forget which ones I need to go back to. A cave here. Let's have a look in there. There's a note attached to the rocks. Read it, yes. Hanging out at Liebel Village, Christina. That would be pretty cool. Like, I still don't feel like we've helped... I feel like we kind of have helped Gemma, but not at the same time. Like, I don't feel like we've helped her as much as we could have. I'm here, Firefly. Okay, so we need to go and get a pickaxe, really. Um, I still haven't found that beanstalk. Not sure where that is. Can't really go any further in that direction. The reed over there, may as well grab that while I'm here. There's nothing to see down there. Okay, I think we need to go and uh, start off this festival. So I'm going to go back to my room and go to the main town. And then we'll try these tasks. And I may speak to Kisabura's wife on the way out as well. He doesn't remember me. Oh, hello, dear. How are you feeling today? Our anniversary is coming up, so I thought I'd get, bring, sorry, Kisaburo something nice to cheer him up. But I figure it's best to wait until the right time. I'm sure he's exhausted from all the tests, so I'll give him some time. So many sad stories. I haven't spoken to Cora recently. I, I want to have a quick chat with her if I can. She's moved, you see. Hey there. What are you guys doing? Oh, hey. You moved? Yeah, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. We call ourselves the Tal Cape Heroes and we're on a mission. A mission? Well, you know how the old patient lounge got destroyed? Yeah. Not sure if you've heard, but... They finally finished rebuilding it. Oh, that's great news. Of course, it's pretty empty right now, so we're looking for donations so we can fill it with fun stuff. You can help us out by buying items from me or the two guys standing next to me. They're pretty cool. Hey there. Hey, hey. My contact. Okay, oh, so she's got a few things as well. Let's buy a chess set. And also, we've got a cat that we can put in there as well. To put the item in the patient lounge, you've got to use it from your inventory. Okay, let's go and put these in the patient lounge. And then we're going to do the festival. My frog and my little golem toy thing. Oh gee, the cat. This is filling up nicely already, actually. It's looking better already. I already had that one, I think. I'm sure there's a few there's a few rusty lockers about the place that I could open up to get things for the patient lounge. Like one of these, I think, was. over here might have been rusted. I'm sure there was a rusted locker around somewhere. Yes. 25 gold. Yeah, there we are. So that was another rusty locker. I'm going to keep some of my gold though. I want to see how much I've got if I can. Ah, 
Ah, here we are, 295 gold. Well, I've actually picked up quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay, back to my room. My room is this one. And from here I need to pop up here. I think the pickaxe is going to be important, you see. So, and I need to get that, I think, by going and doing the Sky Festival. Uh, whatever festival it is, doing the festival. I've called it about 50 different festival things. So it's Star, Starlight Festival, so I think. Anyway, need to find Cora and Panky. Hello, hello, Cora. I have finally got everything for you. You give Cora the beads and fireflies. Now Star Night, oh, the Star Night Festival will be as bright as it was meant to be. When it's time for Star Knight, talk to the chief and he'll walk over with you. And then we've got to get Panky, his uh, his stuff. I has collected. He's so fast though. Hey, hey, you came through. You gave Panky the sealer berries. Thanks to you, there'll be plenty of sealer berry juice for everyone. When it's time for Star Knight, talk to the chief and he'll walk over with you. That was the only ones I had to do. So let's. Thank you for helping us prepare for our star night this year. I was starting to get worried that we'd have to cancel it. The storm set us back a lot. But thanks to you guys, everything seems to be running smoothly now. Does that mean star night is starting now? Not quite yet. Star night begins at dusk. But why don't you come visit me when the stars start falling? And we'll walk over together. I seem quite sunny right now, so I have to wait till dusk. Hmm. Well, we could try going to the sky islands. Let's remind ourselves what we need for a pickaxe. Let's go see Jackie and remind ourselves of what we're looking for. So, so you get a pickaxe, we need camphor sticks, lumen rock, and nightstone. Now, I know where to get nightstone and camphor sticks, we've been picking them up all over the place. But I don't know where to get lumen rock, that is the one thing. So we need three pieces of lumen rock and then we can make our pickaxe. Hmm. Okay. So maybe trying to go to the sky islands would be a better idea for now sure there's no way really to pass time in this game it'll pass time when I've done enough story quest oh look Christina and her little bears and Tony and his little grand bears it's good to see you again how are you I'm doing great I no longer want to live by myself on that island I'm really enjoying spending time with my daughter and grand cubs thank you for giving me back something I thought was gone forever my dad is so different now. Thank you so much for fixing something that was so important to both of us. I like having grandpa. Ah, What about you, crazy bear? Honey! <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> that's rather cute. Let me see if we can get across the bridge. Some more berries here, look. And some more camphor sticks. And what are these? No, they're not lumen stone, are they? Some eggs up there, interesting. Okay, let's see if we can get across the bridge. Which we can. Another bridge. And some like mushroomy things. More camphor sticks. More berries. Hello, little evil. Evil artisan giants in my hut. Has news of my artistic creations actually spread beyond the great sea? Well, in that case, today I have some very special items for sale. A coastal pillow. A fancy skybird tea set. Or well, never mind. I don't know if I should... 
Okay, that's cool. That might be something I need later on. But I don't think it's this particular Sky Island that I need for their friend. What was it? Let me check. Launch your bud. And get Dragon Ash from Stormy the Dragon. Visit Liebel Chief when the stars fall. Find a pickaxe. Okay. We need to find a different beanstalk. hospital and then just try and go back the other way <laughs> try and find I don't know where it would be I'll maybe speak to, uh, to, to Kizabura's wife again I don't know I'm getting a little confused I get the feeling it probably would be on Kizabura's like side of things rather than in the Libor village side of things I'm not sure they Backspace is so creepy. It goes from being really creepy to being really cute. Kind of like my channel, really. Right. So I'll we'll head into the backspace in here. See, the nurse forgot all about this place. Go and speak to her again and see if she'll just remind me where the beanstalk is meant to be. I'm sure, she's head to the west. Beanstalk west of Liebel Village. Oh, west of Liebel Village. Okay. So we do need to go back to Liebel Village. We do need the pickaxe, and I think we need the Sky Island possibly first. We might find that Lumen Rock on the Sky Island. I just needed, I just needed confirmation really of exactly what I needed to do and where I needed to go, and that just confirmed it for me. So that's fine. Don't mind having to walk through the hospital a little bit to get some clarity on the situation. Hello, Jackie. Jackie the blacksmith. Jackie the blood, the, the blood guy. I don't know. Don't know what the name for a blood person is. A blood specialist. All right, back to my room. through my secret door. Back to Rakuen. Or the, the woodland or forest or whatever they call it, the forest. Back to the forest. And we need to head west and find a beetle that is to the west. But there's the one in the middle of the town really isn't working for us, so probably be in this particular area over here. Mmm, I see it. Sky and the beanstalk. Right, off we go. Is this Lumenstone? Please be Lumenstone. Rock. I need three of them. And you find Monsieur Bird. I 
Oh wow, this place is huge. I can see two more lumen rocks already for my pickaxe. Fantastic. Oh, good grief. I take it that Munchal Bud lives in this giant place. Wow. That's quite a... That's quite the mansion. Stone do I have? Two. I think I might need more than that. We'll have to see. Oops. Seems like there's quite a lot of stuff over here, so let me speak to these guys first. Dance bird! I hear Monsieur Bird is serving some kind of special cake at today's tea. I can't wait to eat, but I'm still kind of full from the last event. We gotta work it all off. I had five scones the other day at Montreal Bud's afternoon tea. I've got to work it off somehow. <laughs> Reach for the sky, work off those calories. Yeah. We keep going. Try to find some more uh, nightstone if we can. sticks there. Some more nightstone in there. Fantastic. I hope this is enough. Found a flower marble. Oh nice! A marble for Sue! Wonderful. Steal all the berries. Okay, let's get into Monshaw Bud's house. Got enough stuff, I think, for my pickaxe now. We missed a chest. I just saw it right there. Twenty-five gold in there. Yeah, I can buy stuff for the children's ward, children's lounge, patient lounge. Children's Lounge. Are you looking for Monsieur Bud's afternoon tea? Uh, yes. It's just up these stairs. Enjoy yourselves. Oh, I can't use any of the musical instruments. That would have been cool. Alfred, I didn't get you this job so you could just goof off all day. First the stink bomb, and now these preposterous drawings. Maxwell Howell II, you stop this behaviour at once. My name is Lil Buds. It's Lil Buds from the cave. <laughs> Lil Buds, not Maxwell. Lil Buds. What? Why in the... You're acting like a hooligan. <laughs> That's so funny. He was down in the cave with Sue. Dad, you've got to chill. <laughs> You're gonna be chilling in your bedroom for the next two weeks if you don't clean up your act. But Dad, I'm serious. If you mess up one more time, you're grounded. Now come with me and behave yourself. <laughs> you have a job to do. <laughs> yes, Dad. Oh, poor little birds. That's hilarious. Little birds, you all right? Wow, mom, this place is really fancy, isn't it? You're right, dear. This must be where Monsieur Bud lives. Eek! Sugar baby. Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Where did you come from? Are you gonna stay for the Monsieur's afternoon tea? That would be the man I, oh no. Oh, good grief. When are we going to get to Monsieur Bud? Rupert Sugar Baby. Yes, Rupert. More food from the kitchen has gone missing. Oh, no. What did they say? take this time? That will be Uma again. Only the Monsieur's absolute favourite dish. Pecan pull apart. Sealer berry crumble. Oh, sounds amazing. Not the crumble. 
Yes, sugar baby. They took the crumble. <laughs> we must be on high alert until we figure out who and where this food thief is. <laughs> who are these outsiders? Oh, these folks. They're, um, they're from, uh... They're my cousins. What? Cousins? Hmm. Your cousins? Oh yeah, my cousins. They're totally cool. I've known them my whole life. <laughs> Why would you say that, sugar baby? Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess if they're your cousins, it should probably be okay. <laughs> but you better keep an eye on them. I don't want anything else to get stolen today. Yes, of course, Rupert. I will only steal stuff if it's, in, if it's in legitimate adventurer chests, okay? Phew, that was close. My name's Sugar Baby. Well, my real name's actually Ethan. <laughs> but everyone calls me Sugar Baby because it's my job to bring people sugar cubes for their tea. You guys aren't from around here, are you? I've never met creatures from across the Great Sea before. Wow. You both look so cool. I mean, look at those arms. Your arms have five little arms growing out of the ends of your arms. <laughs> I love sugar baby. And you brown grass growing out the top of your head. Brown grass. So cool. So, what brings you guys to munch your buds? We were hoping he might try some of this special tea. It's the best tea in all the forest. Ooh, the monster loves new teas. I'll take you to see him right now. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Boogies. You okay? Normally this would be easy, but there is a slight problem. As you could probably tell from what just happened, someone has been stealing food from the kitchen. And until we figure out who the thief is, Rupert, he's my boss, is not going to let anyone near the monster. Sorry, guys. Unless. Maybe you guys could help us find the thief. We're short staffed today, so I bet I could get you guys a job here. You mean we'd get to work here? In this big mansion? Yeah, it's pretty easy. People ask for tea, you deliver it. Plus, you get to eat a ton of free food. Strawberry cake, sandwiches, sea livery jam, you name it. Really? Is it not you that's eating all the food in the kitchen then? That sounds great. I bet since you're new, the buds would love to gossip with you. Just do a, just do a good job and they'll talk with you and tell you stuff. I bet you can get all sorts of information that way. If you can help us find the thief, I'm sure the monsieur would drink your tea. What do you say? Will you help us find the thief? I could get you that job, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah! Okie dokie, come with me. First we gotta ask Rupert if he'll hire you. <laughs> this is amazing. This is my favourite part of the game so far. Hey Rupert! This had better be important. It is. I have great news. You found the crumble thief. Not quite, but it's still good. You know how Lester and Flora called in sick today? Ugh, don't remind me. Today is not the day I want to be short-staffed. Well, worry not, we put my cousins can take their place. Hmm, your cousins? I thought they were just visiting. Do they even have any experience with waiting tables or with tea? Do they have any experience? What kind of question is that? Why, where they come from? They're practically famous for serving tea. <laughs> so, what do you know about tea? Well now, that all depends. What would you like me to tell you about? Are you serving ceremonial grade matcha or just premium? Do I smell a blend of silver tips and dried sealer berries? 
I certainly hope you're keeping the water temperature no hotter than 180 degrees. Hmm, I'd suggest putting out some honey and fresh cream for that assam you have. Hmm. And good choice with the puer. It'll help balance the heavenly, sorry, the heaviness of those desserts. Mom knows her tea. <laughs> Fine. Okay, they can work here. Yay! But if anything goes wrong, I'm holding you accountable, sugar baby. I understand. The smaller one can work as a tea server. Take him and show him the ropes. Yes, sir. And since the taller one seems to have an extensive knowledge about tea, I'll have Alfred show her how, how to make blends, I think it said. Alfred! Yes, sir? We have a new tea specialist to fill in for Lester. Please escort her to the kitchen and see to it that she knows where all of the leaves and ingredients are kept. Yes, sir. Right this way, ma'am. So mom's off to be a tea blender and I'm gonna be a boy's gonna be a tea server and I'll probably stay with boy, I think. You can do it, mom. Thanks, dear. Have fun out there. You too. Well, what are you two waiting for? Go get your uniform on and serve that tea. The guests are waiting. Yes, sir. <laughs> My room's just up ahead. I'm so excited you get to work here. It's going to be so much fun. So now we're in Sugar Baby's room. Okay. You can wear Lester's uniform, it's over there on the bed. The red bow tie is the best part. When I grow a little bit bigger, I'll get to wear a red bow tie too. Anyways, go ahead and get changed. I'll meet you back in the servants' quarters. And that's the room where Rupert is. And the free desserts. Oh ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho. See you soon, my new buddy. Buddy. <laughs> Change into my uniform. Have a little look at- oh, that's a cute uniform, look at that! A little red bow tie. See if there's anything I can, like, I don't know, steal around here, I don't know. Any info I can got, I can glean. Doesn't seem like it. An avant-garde style painting of the monster. Oh, there's so many places I can try and go into here. Statue. One ain't locked. <gasps> Adventurous style chest! I found an NHB concert poster. Very well. I do have to try this. It looks like someone was writing lyrics on the inside cover of this book. That would be Little Buds then. Read them, yes. Tea Time, a Little Buds remix. Work me to the bone, or they serve me scones, and the boss in the white wig won't leave me alone. <laughs> I got 18 hour days and they call it overtime, but they're paying me in tea now that I call out a crime. <laughs> so I'm hanging up my apron, turning in my shoes. From now until the end, I'll be kicking rhymes to you. <laughs> and to everyone out there, if you're really feeling me, throw your petals in the air, we'll be pouring out our tea. <laughs> Chorus. Say tea time, we don't know, want no tea time. Tea time, we don't want no tea time. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that, that's hilarious. <laughs> I need to just double check the books in um, in uh, Sugar Baby's room as well. <laughs> oh my goodness me. You found 25 gold. Oh look, this looks like it might be the Mont George room actually. A stack of books on various subjects. Book one. Wig whimsy. Why powdered white wigs are no longer just for 18th century composers. Oh, this is Rupert's room, isn't it? <laughs> Book two. The dignified bud. Five easy steps. It will take you from uncouth dud to gentle bud. A stack of... <laughs> okay. Pink men don't bloom. A guide to being the perfect gentle bud.
Very well. Can we eat some of this fruit? No, no it's clearly just for Rupert then. So this is Rupert's room. Can we get out? Is that the door? There, there's the door. Right, let's uh, double A check. The little book stack in here. I couldn't really get to it very easily. No, I can't interact with it, so... Let's just uh, go into the main room. Oh, it's nearly time to end the episode, though. Sugar baby. Ooh, you look sharp. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to be a tea server. To be honest, it's pretty easy. You'll just go around the party and ask the guests if they want tea. <laughs> if they do want tea, try to find out which kind they'd like and come back to this room to grab the tea for them. If they like you, I bet they'll tell you stuff that'll help us find the food thief. Over here are the different kinds of tea. Pour some into your cup and bring it to them. Easy, right? But remember, you can only carry one cup of tea at a time. And if you bring a guest the wrong tea, you'll have to come back and try again. Got it? I think so. Why don't you practice on Rupert? Bring him a cup of his favourite tea. The Sealer Berry Special. Oh, one more thing. See this sink up here? Yep. If you accidentally get the wrong tea and you're still here, you can just pour it into the sink. Got it. Okay. Go bring Rupert that Sealer Berry special tea. How do I know which one's which? Apricot vanilla. Oh, okay. It tells me. No. Candy cap puer. No. Rose Assam. And seal the berry special. Have a cup of that for Rupert. You are now carrying a cup of the sealer berry special. Take that to Rupert. What now? This had better be important. Serve Rupert the tea, yes. Is this the sealer berry special that you've brought me? Hmm. Delicious. Yay, you did it! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tend to some important business. Sugar baby, Fuji. I'm heading to the party rooms. I'll be there if you need me. Good luck and stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. So I'm going to leave you guys there. Now Rupert's out of the the, uh, the room. You're all ready. The party is being held in the room to your left. Now get out there and serve some tea. We'll do that next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. So we will be back next time to serve the tea and see if we can find the food thief. And then we can give tea to Monsieur Bud. And then... After that, we can go and get our pickaxe and then we can go and see the water dragon. So lots of stuff to do next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more uh, Rakuen, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>